Hey guys, so this is a continuation of the video that I started with. Hopefully you saw the first video where I just kind of introduced what we're doing here. Uh, so I want to talk about in this video are a few different places, as well as my initial experiences when arriving to Mexico on my first ever trip to Mexico, traveling abroad and studying abroad in the year 2000. So um, before I talk about the picture you're looking at here, which was taken with a really terrible camera, by the way, but anyway, uh, I want to talk about my arrival into the airport. Uh, when I got there, there was this, we had to go through customs, and one of the most interesting things that I'd ever seen was in, in customs. I don't know if they still do it that way in Mexico. It's been a while since I've flown there. Uh, I actually went back again a t two more times since then, um, and the other time I went on the airplane, this didn't happen. But the first time I went, we went into the, through customs, and uh, when you got there, there was a, uh, basically like a stoplight, like you'd see in the street, and the light either turned red or green for every single person. And luckily for me, it turned green, but for some of the people in my group, it turned red. And if it turned red, that means they searched you and your uh, belongings. It was just, supposedly, it was a random search just to help prevent people bring, from bringing, I don't know, illegal materials, I guess, into the country. So I thought that was very interesting. But it was nighttime, and we went to this um, hotel, which was under renovation, and uh, we get there, and the next morning I wake up, I open the window, and uh, what the picture, what you're looking at, is what you see. And uh, there's this huge, just enormous, you can't tell by the picture because the wind, wind is not blowing, but this enormous Mexican flag right here, when it's flying, it was like when the wind is blowing, it was probably like this big. It was just gigantic. You can see how small the people are down here compared to just the size, the sheer size of this flag it was enormous. Over here on the right, we have um, El Palacio Nacional, which I'm going to show you a couple of pictures of. And then over here, there's a cathedral, which I'll also talk about here in just a second. So the Palacio Nacional, uh, I don't have a lot of pictures of it, um, but the very first thing that I noticed when I came up to it is the um, group of armed guards that were standing with what looked like, you know, maybe AK-47s or some sort of assault rifles guarding the place. I thought that was just amazing because in the United States, when you go to places, you just don't see people standing outside of buildings very often with these huge uh, assault rifles guarding the building or whatever the building is. So I thought that was really cool. But when we went inside, it was like a, just a big open area with some stairs that went up and there was an upper level. Uh, if you get to go there, it's pretty cool. But the thing that stood out to me on the stairwells were these murals. Uh, and these were painted by uh, Diego Rivera, and um, they were just, just these huge, amazing murals that probably took him a really long time to paint. And if you're interested at all in uh, art, Mexican art, or murals, I definitely suggest you look up Diego Rivera and uh, find out more about him. So uh, that's the just kind of a little bit of the Palacio Nacional. Okay, and a second ago I mentioned uh, a cathedral that was out there next to, in that first picture with the flag. And these are two different pictures I took of it. Well, actually, I'm sorry, I took one of them. Uh, this picture over here I did not take because somewhere in there, uh, I can't remember where I am, but I'm in there uh, with these. this big group of people right here was uh, the group of students that were studying abroad in this field trip. Obviously, I didn't stay with all of them the entire time. Uh, I'll talk about more of that a little bit later, but these group of people were the same people that went together on the buses to the same cities, did the same activities, went to the same school, not necessarily all of it at the same exact time, but it was a pretty big group of students. Uh, we had some, some of our professors from uh, California State University were uh, also in the picture, and in the background here, of course, is the uh, Catedral Metropolitana. Sorry, there's a typo on here. There should be an extra O in there between the R and the P. De la Asunción de María, which in English, English is Metropolitan Cathedral of the Assumption of Mary. And this cathedral is very, very amazing. I'm just going to give you a little bit of information about it. If you get a chance to, take a, take a second to Google it, and you'll find a lot of great information about this cathedral and how it's... Um, very long history and the problems that it's had, the disasters, the fires, and um, it's on, for a while it was on this list of um, monuments that was in danger of being destroyed because it was built on this soft soil uh, and it was actually sinking a little bit, uh, not a lot, but it was sinking which was ha causing damage to the structure and um, it's really amazing on the inside as well, because I mean, just look at this sheer size. Of, see how small that person is compared to the actual size of this building. So it's really amazing if you get a chance to check that out. Uh, so let's uh, move on here. Okay, and one other place I want to talk about, which was near um, Mexico City, there was El Museo Nacional de Antropología, 
And this is just one picture of a few that I took while I was there. And of course, it's of the Calendario Azteca, it's the Aztec calendar. Um, and it's this is the actual rock, like what was, what was carved, just really, really big. We couldn't take a flash picture of it because they were worried about the degradation of the rock itself. But this museum is amazing. There's some really, really cool architecture before you even go inside. There's this really cool, um, I don't know how to describe it. If you look it up, you'll see some pictures of it. There's this big post in the middle. Uh, with I just can't describe it. Try Look it up and you'll see some really cool pictures of it. If you get a chance to visit it, you'll see um, how amazing this place is. I do recommend you, get to, you go there if you ever visit La Ciudad de Mexico or, or Mexico City or Mexico de Efe. Uh, which also is referred to, which is El Distrito Federal de Mexico, the de Federal District of Mexico. Uh, so that's kind of like an intro introduction. When I first went to Mexico, we went to Mexico City first and traveled around, around for a while. And after we went and saw some stuff within Mexico City, we went to the outskirts and visited uh, some ruins. And I'll talk about those in the next video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.